Hello everybody and welcome to another video and in this video today we are going to be talking about an issue that plenty of people have been taking up with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. As I was reading through the comments on my last video on Assassin's Creed Odyssey I noticed a lot of people bringing up the point that Assassin's Creed Odyssey technically isn't Assassin's Creed or at least that's what they think. And to a degree, I can see where they're coming from. The game is set way before the events of Origins, which is the origin story of the Brotherhood, so that means that we won't be playing as an assassin, or at least as a member of the Brotherhood. But does that immediately mean that the game isn't a valid entry to the franchise? So I thought in this video, we'd go over the arguments why people think that this isn't a proper Assassin's Creed game, and the arguments that could undermine that. For the majority of this video, I'm going to attempt to be neutral and then it will be up to you to decide whether or not you think this is a valid Assassin's Creed entry or not. So to start off with let's take a look at the point that people have been making in the comments section to say that this isn't an Assassin's Creed game. And like I said I can see where they're coming from to a degree. The game predates the Brotherhood by hundreds of years which means that the Assassin Brotherhood won't be about at all. And when you think about it setting a game before a franchise's origin story is something somewhat ridiculous. Except Assassin's Creed Origins was only the origins of the Brotherhood and wasn't an overall origin story for everything. And so going before it is still technically a legal move, except to the people commenting this isn't an Assassin's Creed game, all they really think about when they think Assassin's Creed is the Brotherhood, because it is one of the core elements of the franchise as far as narrative is concerned. And so what's the point of telling an Assassin's Creed story before the Assassins even existed? It's a rather simple way of looking at things, but to be honest, I can understand why it might cause concern. The elements implemented by the presence of the Assassin Brotherhood have been significant in every Assassin's Creed game up until this point, even Origins to a degree, those being things like the Hidden Blade for example. In Odyssey it doesn't seem as if the Hidden Blade will be present, and so plenty of features that used to make Assassin's Creed stand out are suddenly gone. So for this argument I really do get it, I know I've said that a couple times already but I want to express that I do understand where people are coming from when they're saying this, and I will not discredit that opinion as valid or invalid because that's not my place. However why don't we hear the argument against this? This point. And when I say the argument, I mean the logic in my head that could be used to undermine this point. Not saying it's right, just saying it's something that I've come to understand. People who are commenting Assassin's Creed Odyssey doesn't look like a proper Assassin's Creed game are only taking into account the historical part of the game. And yes, that is a huge part of the game. I understand why this is. I'm not saying it's wrong to do this. But there is a bigger picture as well. According to an article by the ever-reliable Kotaku, the modern day and first civilization elements to Assassin's Creed Odyssey will be fairly prominent. And if there's a heavier modern day focus, then there's likely going to be a valid reason for what we're doing in the Animus. So there's a good chance that the story in Ancient Greece won't be pointless come the end. Furthermore, the story could show us ideologies that later resonated with the Assassins and how they came to be, not necessarily directly or whatever. And so when you think about it, there could be a plethora of reasons for why we're doing this in an Assassin's Creed game. And to combat the point that the franchise is just too different and unrecognisable now, everything has to change. Whether that's fundamental fundamentally or just a new nick of paint or whatever it is, changes need to happen. And in a really long running franchise that is almost inevitable. And I say almost inevitable because Call of Duty still seems to be getting sales and that hasn't changed since the Cretaceous period 65 million years ago. And for all you know a step in a fresh direction might just be a refreshment, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. If I were to give my thoughts I'd say that it's not quite as simple as one side's 100% right and the other one's 100% wrong. This is very different to what Assassin's Creed used to be, but at the same time it doesn't mean that the game's going to be completely pointless and useless to the franchise. However, I'm going to leave this debate up to you guys. Do you think that this is what Assassin's Creed should be? Do you think it's not? Do you think this is even Assassin's Creed at all? Or do you think that the game will prove itself valid in this aspect? Do let me know in the comments section, I am interested to see what you all think. I've also put out a poll to entertain this debate over on the community tab, so I'll leave a link to that. But of course, get into all the lovely details here in the comments section as much as you like as well. I will read the comments here. So yeah, let me know what you think about it all. But anyway guys, thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed 
Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share. Let me know what you think about this, of course. Be sure to go ahead and drop me a follow on Twitter. I would really appreciate that as well. That would be pretty cool. And I'll see you all very soon with another video at some point.